Hey folks, Ola here, coming at you from deep in the Everglades. Day two of my fishing trip, starving. I got out here, as you will see, at 6.30. It is now 10 till three, but uh, I've been off the water for about 30 minutes, been loading up. And a thank you to the gentleman at the ramp, the two gentlemen that loaded my kayak for me. That was so very nice with this wrist. I really appreciate it. Speaking of the wrist, I didn't get to fish yesterday, guys. It almost ruined my whole trip, but I did manage to get it under control and was able to fish today without any problems. And I thank you, Paul, for the offer to fish with you, but I'm glad that uh, you were able to bring John. I got to see you both today. Really enjoy fishing with you guys. So the wrist, it's still a little swollen, but I can move it freely. Guys, I know you probably know I have rheumatoid arthritis, and you hear the word arthritis and you think, okay, old age, joint degeneration, but it's nothing like that, nothing at all. It's actually an autoimmune disease that is very mysterious, and it affects different people in different ways. So you really never know the hand you'll be dealt. You just wait and see which joint it attacks and how bad. When I was up in Missouri, it hit this shoulder. It swelled up in probably four hours to the size of a baseball. And I had to go to the emergency room because I didn't have steroids with me. I mean, I have a few for minor flares, but I've never had a flare like that. So yeah, it started in Missouri. Then I'm still on the steroids from the Missouri issue because you can't just quit taking them. You have to taper down. So I was almost tapered off. I was down to five milligrams daily. And then Saturday or Friday evening, that thing swelled up like it wasn't huge, but I mean, there's no meat there, guys. That just swelled up and I couldn't move my wrist. I couldn't twist, couldn't do that. So I had extra steroids with me this time and I tripled my dose for two days. And now I got to taper off of that again, starting today and uh, go from there. I'll call the doctor tomorrow and see what's going on. Bottom line, the medicine I've been taking for almost two years is no longer effective. And that is typical with rheumatoid arthritis. It happens like that all the time. You're doing fine going through life, no problems whatsoever, and then whammo. That's a hellish disease. But anyway, I got it under control with the steroids, so I was able to make it back out here today for the final day down here in the Everglades. We head back north tomorrow. Not going to hunt exotics tomorrow because the winds are too high. I'm talking 15 plus, and I just can't fish in a kayak in that, not for any length of time. So Today was the final day, and it was better than Friday, but still not my best day. But I landed somewhere around 16 fish. I'll have to double check that. 16 bass and one ferocious bonus fish. So let's just roll today's Everglades fishing footage. Good morning, folks. It is 6.37 on Sunday. This place is full of duck hunters. The parking lot's full, no parking spots. And uh, I'm heading out real quick here. Very crowded, I gotta get out of the way. So stay tuned and let's go see if we can get on some fish. Yep, you hear that? Boom, boom. Where are you, fish? Man, those ducks are really close right here. I think I want to get away from them before someone starts shooting. Fish. I say that every time, but oh yeah. Come here, buddy. 
That's a really good fish. All right, you gotta settle down. That's beautiful. Oh, God dang it, I got a lure on that. First fish of the day. Oof, right in the tongue. Hold still, little guy. There he is, folks. It's not a bad fish. Gotta just let him go. I don't have time to do an underwater release because I'm blowing like crazy. It's blinding. Yikes, they're firing at those guys. Shooting right in my direction. Dang. Oh. Oh my god, guys, the buckshot just landed right by me. Oh, it sounded like rain on the water. Holy crap. They missed. I didn't see any ducks fall out of the sky. Go, ducks, get out of here. Got something on the rappel. There's one. Come here, big boy. Wow, 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 wow. Wow, he's yellow. All right, you got a bunch of hooks on you, so you need to chill. Okay, I switched from soft plastics and other baits to a crankbait. Got me a nice cold bash. That's number three. He was barely hooked, too. On the Rapala, I'm throwing a shallow shad wrap size 7 in bluegill color. Oh, come on. I need to throw over my shoulder. That seems to work better. Oh, there's one. Boy, they're all over this. Good call on changing. Wow, they're really yellow down here on this end. I'm a couple miles out from where I fished yesterday. And uh, the bass down here are yellow. Hang on, bud. You gotta hang on. Number four for the day. All right, change for the better. Oh boy, look at that, it's ugly. Ug, ug, ugly. Well, the rain has passed and so have the wind. Winds, so get back out here for a little bit see if maybe the bite turns on oh I got something right on the shore guys that's a nice fish that's a good one let's get those hooks out of there well not bad First one of the second set, number five for the day. Let's do a release on him. 
he struck that as soon as it hit that water. Wow, and he shot out like a bullet. There's a fish. Little guy. Number six. Okay, easy buddy, easy. Little guy. There's one. Number seven, just a little guy. Definitely on a road bed here. Yeah, that's a huge basin. It's going after my bait. Ooh. Huge both in. Look at him, guys. It's not bigger than that eight pounder, I don't think, but it's pretty freaking big. I saw him swim right by me. Let's grab some fish grips. That's a biggie. Got him. Oh no, that's about six pounds. He's trying to spin on me. Mm, got him. Got it. About five pounds. It's a bass. Oh, that's a good one. Yes, it is. That's about a three pounder. That's going to be the best fish of the trip. On the whacked out rig. Maybe a little more. Oh, yeah. Wow. Right in the side of the cheek. I think I'll weigh this one, folks. Bite is turning on. Yes, these guys are pre-spawn, I think. Look at the stomach. Look at the stomach. Glad I stuck around after the rain because it has definitely paid off for me. Three pounds, five ounces right there. Three, five. One more look at her. Beautiful fish. Just a little guy. That little divot right there. Looks like it could be holding a fish. Yep. 
Oh, it's a good one. Oh, yes. Dude, oh man. Look at him go. That's a healthy fish. Right where I skipped that lure. Yeah, that's a strong, good, healthy fish. And his tongue. Well, he didn't swallow. Okay. He's got some blood, so we're going to get it out of here quickly. Wow. Good, strong fish. <laughs> 